Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can create materials that do not get stretched when we scale the objects. Here as you can see I have two identical cubes with two materials but there is a very huge difference here and it's this. Here as you can see when I scale this up the material gets stretched and it gets messed up but here as you can see there is no stretching for the material and when I scale it up the scale of the textures won't change and this is very useful in different scenarios for example when you wanna kit bash and do fast and rough prototyping and creating gray boxes for your environments so let's see how we can set this material up here as you can see I have two materials the first one is for this so cobalt one is a simple material this is the material that you usually create you have a texture sample and then you connect it to your nodes and it will look like this so this is the one that gets stretched but here I have material number two and it looks like this this is the node that gets the job done for us so here let's start from scratch and see what we should do so I'm going to drag my texture and here the first thing I need to do is to change my texture into an object so convert to texture object and next I need a world line texture node this is the one that aligns the texture based on the world values and doesn't care about the UVs of the objects so here if you connect XYZ to your base color as you can see it will align the texture like this then we have this texture size so here hold one left click and add a constant and using this you can control the size of the texture so for example if I go with 500 it will look like this and if I assign the material to the object you can see that it doesn't stretch anymore when I play with the scale here you have other options as well for example if you only plug the Z it will look like this it only aligns the texture from the Z axis and then here you can also only go with X and Y but usually you wanna keep XYZ so you have the texture from all the directions and of course you can do the same for your other inputs as well so if you have a metallic specular roughness normal map you repeat the same plug this to the one you want and then change the texture accordingly so for example this should be a normal texture yeah that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and if you learn something new please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video